Donovan Smith joining me on the Pat Mayo Experience. If you didn't know, I am Pat Mayo, so it's nice to meet you for real. You Pleasure. Have, you have a crushing handshake, sir. Oh, God. You're the second person to say that today. Yeah, but it, it, it's powerful, man. I mean, what do you want me to do? Nothing. nothing. Lay off? Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Not happening. <laughs> All right, well, that's, that's good intensity to start the show. <laughs> real or fake earrings? Fake. They, I actually wear fake earrings. They make me take them out, though. Well, they, this is live? Yeah. They're real. Oh, yeah. 100% real. No, I don't care. Uh, you're, 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 fake. you're wearing 200000 bucks in your... Uh, no, they're fake. They're $30. I lose them too easy. And so. that's what happens to me. It, it's no point of spending that much money for something. But you got, you got the watch. You got the chain. You're looking sharp. And the coordination between the chain and the watch. Oh, God. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> uh, is this your first radio row? Oh, uh, this is my first radio row. How, uh, how's it been so far? It's, it's crowded. crowded. It is crowded. Um, but it's get, unique, though. You you get to see a lot of guys around the league. Um, a lot of Hall of Famers here. A lot of old players. Um, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, have you had to push anyone out of the way yet? No, not yet. Because uh, it is crammed in here. I can't imagine. You're a big dude. It's, all I'm saying, Penn State is in here deep, though. What's that? Penn State. Penn State. Yes. Yeah. Spice Adams is here. Yeah. Well, Spice was on yesterday. Mike Robb's here. So I'm here. So it's just a reunion. Pretty much. That's not bad. <laughs> it's pretty cool, though. No, it's, it's, it's fun just to see all the people around, you know. If you're a people watcher, this is where you need to be. It is. Actually, we, we, we just in between having people over, I just kind of sit right. here and just, just walk around. There's some. Uh, yeah, you got a nice little area over here. Yeah, we're, all, we're off to the side. Hopefully, Tucked away. But I, I keep telling everyone they can scoot out that way. I don't even think you're allowed to do that. But yeah. who's going to stop you, right? That's pretty much what I'm saying. You just slot it out there. I think that does open up a little bit. I mean, are people asking for autographs, stuff like that? No, nobody knows me. Really? That's good. You prefer it that way? Lay low. I low key. Just, you know, they, <laughs> they, 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 they the had crowd. their suspicions of who I may be or what I may do. But nobody really, really knows me. I saw a couple Bucks fans that knew me outside of them. No. Well, we're doing a thing now at... Like with DraftKings, we're trying to. I actually even went around on media night talking to like right. offensive linemen, being like, "No one gives you guys any love," and even defensive players yeah. when it comes to fantasy, no love. I mean, would it be nice to get more love? Yeah, I mean, I don't see who don't like love every now and then, especially mm. for you doing your job. But um, if it's fantasy, the hate comes with it too. But I feel like the only way you get love fantasy wise would be your running back. Yeah, if quarterback. you tied them or running back and quarterback and you tie them together, they play. Yeah. I mean, other how else are you going to grade them? Pancakes? Pancakes? It's hard to pancake in the league. It is, but maybe you get like 20 points for that. Something. Something that is a huge bonus if you can I do mean, it. I has, mean, it has, there, there's a way that you can uh, fantasy point some offensive linemen to show some love. And maybe you get points for the running backs, like yardage behind, yeah, holes open. Non How many piles you jump on and push the pile. and Non-holding penalties. <laughs> <laughs> or, or penalties are like negative points hey, or something like that. Hey, we got to figure it out. So what's like, I mean, where are you from originally? New York, born and raised. All right, so it, it, usually it goes the other way. People are like from the south, they gum up, yeah. they play for the Jets and Giants. Yeah. You're, you're a Yankee and go down and play in Florida. Yeah. Good, good no state tax. That must be nice. Yeah, no state taxes. Surprisingly, the Yankees, they do their spring ball down there. So no, that's I not still bad. get to follow See, it. Do you like baseball? <laughs> I do like baseball. Uh, I think the first ever Yankees game I went to, I was probably like 10 years old. Took the subway, hopped right off, went right in there. So that was the old stadium, obviously. But yeah, I, I went to. I was actually weirdly enough. I, I think my last year of college, I was in New York, like basically right when it was opening the new stadium. What college did you go to? Uh, I went to St. Mary's. I'm Canadian. Really? Yeah. We have an excellent football team full of uh, players that are five foot ten and weigh 180 pounds. <laughs> What's the biggest offensive lineman? Uh, the actually, guy I went to high school with, he was six two three thirty five, <laughs> and he was big. Six two. Six two. How much did he weigh? Three thirty five. That's a little butterball. He was fast. 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 Fat, you mean? No, he was fat. Yeah, he was fat at the time, but he was fast. Fat and though. fast. Like he was he was strangely athletic. Hey, stop underestimating those fat boys. Hey, some, hey, what was your forty time? You want the pro day one, or you want the uh, combine? The, the, one? the better one. Four nine. That's fast. Yeah. You shouldn't be able to run that fast. I shouldn't be able to run that fast. No. Hey, now it's probably like a six flat. No. Nah. <laughs> Maybe in the off season, not when you're out geared up ready to go for week one. No, no, no. Shoot, I start back up working out, so I get it back down to a 4-9. What, what's the off season training like? Like, 
before you start getting to yeah. OTAs and everything? Um, so really it just depends on the guy, depends on where you want to go. Some guys, you know, obviously go wherever they want to go and they have their regimen and stuff like that. But uh, really it's just eating right, working out sometimes two times a day. And You're really doing two days in the off season, like already? Not Man. yet. Not yet. I, I figured it'd just be like stay in shape for the first month. Like, Yeah, you do your, do some uh, elliptical. your soccer mom workout. <laughs> Right after the season, you know, January, you elliptical, the Stairmaster, walk on a treadmill uphill, stuff like that, low impact. So that way you can still get your body back, but you're still breaking a little sweat and stuff like that. So, but, um, you know, you turn up the intensity uh, pretty much in February. Well, at least I do in February. When you guys got canceled week one and mm -hmm. then had to play the 16 straight weeks, did that just screw the season? Uh, no, I don't think it screwed the season. I mean, there's no excuses, obviously, but like, it was brutal. I can imagine. I mean, it, like, just where, where not, were not where were you? A bye week. So, I, like, even like the teams were all dispersed across the country. So, weren't they? For, so for me, I went up to um, Baltimore, and then we had like a a meeting point in Charlotte. So I flew to Charlotte, and then we had a plane that flew us from Charlotte back down to Tampa. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it pretty much was. I almost went to Houston. I almost went out to L.A. I almost, I, like, it was just different places. Atlanta, Atlanta was brutal because everybody wanted to leave Florida and go to Atlanta because, you know, six hours or whatever. But there's some guys who drove, and it took 18 hours. Oh, my God. Exactly. That, A six-hour drive took 18 hours. It takes 18 hours to get to New York from Florida. That's what the drive takes? And I drove that. You drove that? Yes. And I can't imagine 18 hours from Tampa to Atlanta. You're just not moving. It's like you're stuck in L.A. traffic. Gridlock. The entire way. I couldn't do it. Oh, that's rough. I could not do it. But you guys played the Pats this year. Yeah, we did. You think they're going <laughs> to win? Or do you have to rep the NFC? You can make a pick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, you really want my honest opinion? I do, yeah. I'm tired of the Patriots winning. Okay. So, so is everyone. I, I want to see the <laughs> Eagles win. Um... But, I mean, you got the GOAT over there. So, I just want a great ball game, honestly. That's all I can ask for is just a, a good ball game. You guys kept Brady under control this year, though. Yeah. Because we got a solid defense. Yeah. And and it was the Thursday night game, and Thursday night games were weird. So, you making excuses? No, I'm not. I'm just saying just every <laughs> Thursday night game you watch, it's just there's something wonky about them. Yeah, because it's a shortened week. You feel me? You, you try to. Like, are you still, like, hurt from the week before? Yes. My body. My body, week in, week out, my body don't start to feel good for the next week until Friday, Saturday. Really? I swear. So you figure you cut, you come off from playing Sunday. Practice Monday you probably. You got to practice week. Monday, Tuesday, and then walk through Wednesday, and then you play Thursday. So you got no recovery time. No recovery. And then we down there in Tampa, so the heat just drains you. So... Hey. Does it take a while to get used to the heat? Shout Being out to the Thursday night games. Oh, yeah. I mean, Fox just uh, picked them up for like another five years, so hey. they're not going away. That's cool. As long as we get to keep the cool jerseys. You like the jerseys? Yeah. Well, you uh, guys have good ones. Some teams they, do not have good ones. I like. I, I would like to see like them do more with it. Well, have you seen Jacksonville's? It kind of looks like the honey mustard looking it, it, ones. It kind of looks like diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> it's not great. Hey, I just would like, like, just – Take the top artists somewhere and or painters or whoever and have them design, like, the hometown team jerseys, the uniform. That's a pretty cool idea. You know what I mean? Like, just whoever's the top artist and local uh, Local, local artists? Local artists or something, just have them design it and whatnot. But, I mean, I, I, I like all red or at least alternate, have an alternate one. So, I mean, if you're so ours would be, what, pewter, all pewter? As long as you don't go back to that old popsicle, like, orange one. What's wrong with pop? What? The, the, like, the, the old, old I Tampa honestly jersey? wish they would bring that back. Really? A one game. I could say one game, but I don't think you want to be playing, like, three of those a year. They, they bring back bad vibes for the Tampa fans. Oh, man. Listen. Them things is <laughs> icy. I like that jersey, honestly. So, I, I guess, I mean, you're in Florida. Obviously, you're right. in Tampa, not Miami, but you're a Yankees fan. Were you pumped to see Giancarlo go to the Yankees? <laughs> It's, 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 this is all I'm saying. I just want to know the bat lineup between him, Judge, and, you know, how they going to map it out. I, I pitchers just throw at them and maybe try to hurt them? 
<laughs> that's the only thing I can think of. Hey, man, that's uh, I'm excited, actually. I just want to see what they're going to do. Do you ever take, like, batting practice in some of these games? No, I couldn't do it. You couldn't do it? Absolutely not. I think I went to a batting cage once. Okay. And I couldn't even hit a 30-mile-per-hour ball. And it was a softball at that. Oh, so it was the bigger ball. Yeah. And you got the bigger bat. I, I missed. That's all right. You're not a baseball player. <laughs> I'll stick to football. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're doing all, all right with that yeah, I'll stick for the, the time football. being. I'll stick to football. All I right, man. Thanks for being on. Thank Enjoy you your time me. on Radio Row. Pleasure. Yeah, we're going to kick it live here all afternoon. So we'll probably, we'll probably catch you in the background a few Why more times. Why don't you times. get a fan on here? A fan? Yes. And we have one. We just keep him on loan over there. <laughs> I respect it. <laughs> All right, we're getting back in. Always. Enjoy yourself, man. See you. Enjoy the game, too. I will.